expecting him to move forward just from, from the cap case. And just in case this doesn't happen, the spur might be used very frequently, but very momentarily, and the horse clearly understands that you need this. So the basics of this horse are 100% correct, and the training is exactly how it's supposed to be. When we, when we look at young horses, and we see now that he's quite balanced, uh, the connection is there, the horse is willing to accept the contact, the horse is confident in the rider, we should tap into little areas. We should find out, can the horse move on? Can we expose the horse to some more advanced movement? Yeah. And therefore, we can take a quick look at the canter. Yeah, that's great. And maybe recommend me a bit of trust. Let's see what we can do for a few minutes with a little bit the idea of leg yielding to both sides. Now, in the leg yielding, compared to the half pass, the horse is, for instance, now coming down center line, looking to the right, and the horse should move easily in a very uncomplicated way from, away from our right leg. So the horse is slightly positioned to the right, and we see here how easy it is for him to cross sideways, and how nicely he is responding to Rebecca's leg. And the idea of moving forward and sideways is, in many cases, with many horses, taken way too lightly. This is something that our horses need to learn in the first six weeks under seven. Yeah, and this is so important. When I like you, Rebecca makes the choice when he's a little bit behind us, we're making it immediately the point of sending the horse a moment forward. That he moves from behind to the bit. Yeah. Rebecca, are you ready? Let's go ahead and change direction and we'll show the same movement on the other side. We come down center line, we start flexing, flexing him slightly to the left. And we push him a little bit sideways to the right. And again, we see here nicely moving forward. Let's see if he moves equally as, as he did on the other side. And he does, that's right. Okay, yeah, so this very easily accomplished. And Rebecca, let's show this a touch more on the, on the long side. When you go down the long side with a tiny bit right flexion, we move him on the long side a little bit away from the right leg and we move him effortlessly over to the left. Just a few steps, now go straight ahead, start a circle left and move him on the circle a little sideways to the right. And we can see here, when this works easily, this is such a wonderful exercise for horses to remain supple. And again, if you look at our training scale, our horses need to remain in a good rhythm, but the suppleness is in many cases taken way too lightly. Yeah? And I see here, again, the horse that's moving very easily off the leg, and because of him moving easily sideways, he's it is very easy for him to flex the neck at any time to either side and it is, I, I can't even tell you how important it is to have a horse perfectly connected and even on both legs. So many horses learn to pick up the stiffness on one side and it is, it is always going to backfire later on when you learn to like flying changes. There will always be one side that is going to be a little bit more resistant. Yeah? Rebecca made a good choice here, you want to touch behind the leg, 